Hello everybody. Uh, again, the Sebarit Avanti, but today finally the landing gear arrived in the morning from uh, Motion RC Europe. Motion RC, yeah, the free wing dealer in Europe. Uh, this, these are the landing gear from a Mini Avanti, from Avanti, the foamy version, 80 millimeter, and I thought it will be super easy to to put them to. Uh, you know, fix them on the on the Sebart Sebart Avanti 90 mm but it was not so easy because they were too short. <laughs> so it was a little bit more work than I expected. But finally, it's done. And what is the main difference is that the original landing gear from this uh, Sebart Avanti, the maximum load, so the maximum spring spring uh, work is almost two kilograms and these ones from foamy one is five kilograms per leg per landing gear which is much better uh, only i had to adjust this the spring make it a little bit more stretched so i reached this five kilograms because originally it's three something so it's still better than the than this plane and i had to extend this strut the main leg by 10 millimeters because otherwise uh, the wheel was not clearing this bulkhead so it was a little bit work but it's done very nice it looks like original one and uh, i'm very keen to try it because now the suspension is much harder of course the, the plane will be a little bit taller because the wheels are also bigger it's seven centimeters 70 millimeter wheels which is better for grass these are original wheels from uh, 80 millimeter Avanti and I had to increase the holes for the wheel size but it's not much work uh, so I'm very pleased with that I'm not so sure if the angle of attack of the wings will be now correct to take for takeoff I didn't try it it looks like I need to extend the front landing gear a little bit again but hopefully it will work so and of course we're flying on 12s again like <laughs> last few days uh, which is fun 12 s8000 lions leon cells and last night i uh, tried to uh, calibrate my pitot tube with gps with phone gps with my with my car on the highway and it shows exactly how it should show but the tolerance is really bad because it jumps from from 80 to 120 so the tolerance is <laughs> 40 kilometers and this is because I bought the cheaper one from a first guy that cost 30 30 something euros and now I know that I should come back to the, the more expensive one that cost 60 euros because I used them previously because they were very accurate so I already ordered the, the PTO tube for the, the more expensive one for 60 euro from a first guy and this one is super accurate and it's not only accurate but uh, it can measure to more than 400 kilometers per hour which may be useful in the future not on this one okay so it's enough talking let's see how the suspension works i hope it will work and i can just show you how it works on the grass it's very nice and of course what i didn't say that this avanti this spring suspension has more than double the the movement of the this rotating leg so so in uh, the original one moved less than 2 cm, one and a half, and this one more than three or four, I don't know. It's, it's really nice, it's really nice. Okay, enough talking, let's go flying.
so it was not <laughs> an eventful flight. Uh, on the takeoff, the, the the little screw, locking screw, got loosed and uh, one landing gear twisted, so the plane flipped. <laughs> it was surprising, but nothing major broke the, the front gear, gear door only, but that's okay. But in general, uh, one landing I had really bad. The plane bounced and the landing gear didn't break, thanks to this this new suspension. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and uh, the plane was flying on uh, five and a half kilowatts because it's 12s. And with these new cheater holes, with the EDF all the way back, uh, and the top the the top speed was with the PTO tube 229. And with GPS also, uh, and this was with uh, diving from 350 meters, so it was a, a steep dive. With the normal level flight, it reaches 200 kilometers per hour. Uh, it will not fly faster because it, the, the airframe is not faster; it's not allowing for it. It's too much, too much drag. But I'm pleased because with the with on the 12s, it's uh, it's fun. It's pulling, it's the, the vertical climb is unbelievable, you can go forever because the, there is more thrust than the weight, so, so it's very nice. And the flight was, uh, I think, six, seven minutes and pushing almost full throttle all the time, so the batteries are quite hot because I'm, uh, I'm pulling from batteries uh, average 60 amps from one, so they're kind of hot. It's like so hot that you cannot hold it more than three seconds because it's burning so they're very hot okay so this was interesting i have to work on the landing gear a little bit more because <laughs> it's too loose but uh, the spring tension is nice and um, the power of the, the dumping is, is really nice so I'm, I'm very pleased okay and the flight was nice it was interesting all right thanks a lot and i almost forgot <laughs> i had to belly land the last flight because uh, the landing gear got stuck because the, the, the holes for the wheels I made a little bit too small and one landing gear got stuck and I didn't dare to land on two legs only so I decided to land on the belly and it was, it was nice, it was smooth so nothing broke, I'm very pleased.